in honor of the news that the Toronto Raptors are finally able to play at home this year in the beautiful Scotiabank Arena, I decided that in this video, I was going to do things a little differently instead of the usual Raptors analysis. Instead, I created a top 10 countdown of the greatest NBA games, performances, or even moments that occurred at the Scotiabank Arena, or otherwise known as the Air Canada Center, before its name got changed in 2017. What's very interesting about this countdown is that I've actually been lucky enough to have witnessed two of the moments on this list. Also, since this video is more of a celebration, if you feel like I missed anything, please leave a comment down below. Before I start off this countdown, I just wanted to say that if you do enjoy this type of Raptors content and the other Raptors videos that I've been putting out, please feel free to like this video and even subscribe to the channel so you can watch more videos like this. I'm so close to reaching 1000 subscribers and with the help of all of you, I can hopefully reach that goal very, very soon. I just wanted to say thanks again as I am extremely grateful for all of those who have supported me up until this point. Now, on to the top 10 countdown of the greatest NBA moments that were played inside the Scotiabank Arena to celebrate the Raptors finally coming home this season. At number 10, we have one of the most infamous games in the Toronto Raptors franchise as it was the very first game the team had played in the Air Canada Center back in 1999. The game featured the Raptors going up against their Canadian NBA rivals in the Vancouver Grizzlies. Although this game wasn't the most intense or saw the craziest stat lines, however its significance to the franchise is so powerful being the first game in a stadium that has now been home to the Toronto Raptors for over 20 years. In this game, the Raptors destroyed the Grizzlies and two to 87 which saw Vince Carter dropping a game high of 27. This same arena that allowed us to witness the greatness of Vince Carter was also what Carter's famous nickname of Air Canada originated from. At number 9 on the list, it is one of my favorite games to have watched back in the day as Bismack Biombo grabbed 26 rebounds in a singular playoff game against the Cleveland Cavaliers in 2016. What is absurd absurd about this game is he actually managed to grab 20 of those boards before recording a single point and even crazier is the fact that he joined elite company in Hakeem Olajuwon, Tim Duncan, and Dwight Howard as the only players to have grabbed 25 or more rebounds in a single playoff game. Moving on to number 8, we have one of the craziest and most unexpected 51 point performances ever in the NBA by Terrence Ross in 2014. What's even crazier about this game is the fact that I was randomly at this game and I just remember my 13 year old self jaw dropped in awe just watching Terrence absolutely dominate this game against the Clippers. Terrence Ross, who was just 22 at the time, tied the franchise record in a single game at the time with 51 points for the Raptors where he actually missed his last free throw in the last minute of the game costing him the franchise record. Unfortunately, why this game is a little bit higher on the list is because the Raptors actually ended up losing this game to the Clippers, but this game is still going to go down as one of the greatest single game performances the Toronto Raptors have ever had. At number 7, it's only fair to have the game when Vince Carter came home to Toronto playing for the Memphis Grizzlies and received so much love and support for being one of the Raptors greats back in 2014 where it actually left him in tears as he was watching the tribute video. During his tribute video, the support that he received from fans and players brought him to tears as he was greeted with a massive outpour of cheers from the crowd. It was such a wholesome moment for the franchise and its fans as everyone finally came together to show their support for a franchise great even after the sour past that the two sides had in the past as Carter left the team. Something that is pretty jokes about the game was that as the entire crowd was exponentially cheering on Vince in his tribute video, I was actually at this game as well and out of the entire stadium, 
I think my dad was the only guy in the entire stadium to boo Vince during this tribute, still for the way he treated the franchise as he left. All in all, it was all fun and games, and this moment is something that will live on forever, whether it be positive or negative for Raptors fans, respectively. At number 6, we have the greatest comeback in the history of the Raptors, as in December of 2019, the Toronto Raptors overcame a 30 point deficit against the Dallas Mavericks. The comeback was led by Kyle Lowry as he had 32 points and 10 assists, and Chris Boucher also played a large role in the win as he had a career high of 21 points. This game was also the greatest comeback in the NBA at the time over the last decade. At number 5, the first ever nationally televised game in the ACC and for the Raptors ever was actually the same game that Vince Carter scored his career high of 51 points in a game in the year 2000, which was also a franchise leading effort in points scored in a game at the time, which makes this game and moment just that much more special. As the Raptors finally got their shot at getting some national screen time, Vince did what Vince does best and that was to put on a show for the fans and definitely created some Raptors fans from around North America with that single game performance alone. Number 4 featured the game where the Toronto Raptors beat the 96 Chicago Bulls and were one of the very few teams that were able to snag out a win against arguably one of the greatest teams of all time. The 96 Bulls obviously ended the season in 72 and 10 and held the best record of all time before it was eventually beaten by the 2016 Warriors. But as for the rest of time, we can always say we were one of the few teams who could beat Michael Jordan and the Bulls in that regular season and that will be in the history books for the rest of time. Next, at number 3, we have Vince Carter's absolutely magical performance in the Eastern Conference semifinals as he was able to score 50 points which included nine threes in the game in 2001. To this day, this is still the greatest postseason performance ever by a Raptors player as it still holds as the most points ever scored for the Raptors in a playoff game and to top it all off, it was executed inside the Air Canada Centre in a win over the 76ers. Now, at number 2, we have DeRozan's performance against the Milwaukee Bucks in 2018, as this is up there with some of the greatest moments that were ever played inside the Scotiabank Arena where we saw DeRozan score a franchise record at the time of 52 points in an OT thriller. To this day, that performance is still the most points we have seen in a Raptors uniform at home in Toronto, and for some time now, I feel like it could remain this way. And finally, the greatest NBA moment at the Air Canada Centre, in my opinion, and probably others' opinions as well, is Kawhi Leonard game winning game 7 shot that won the series against the Philadelphia 76ers for the Toronto Raptors in 2019. This shot was heard from around the world and frankly is the only game 7 game winning buzzer beater ever in the history of the NBA. Without this shot, who knows if the Raptors would have edged it out with the 76ers in OT and then obviously may not have ended up going on to win the franchise's first ever NBA championship, as that is, in my opinion, the greatest Raptors play to ever happen on home soil. As this countdown finishes, I just wanted to say that if you have any other favorite Raptors moments that happened at the Air Canada Centre, or otherwise known as the Scotiabank Arena, please feel free to leave them down below in the comments. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you all, and have a great night.